three championships in the last four years. Uh, would you consider this a uh, modern day dynasty with this team? Uh, you know, that, that, that's impressive stuff. I think you can say that, especially uh, in a league like ours that uh, probably doesn't want that to be the case and would be happy just moving a trophy from one franchise to the next each year. So that's a bit of a uh, dynasty at this point. Uh, Bruce, congratulations. Um, what are your thoughts on Donovan's departure and, and the way he's able to do it, and also his versatility in this game playing three different positions? Yeah, well, I, I, I think, first of all, uh, Landon has done the real shift in the game. He is, uh, he, he's done it all. Uh, he's got very little left to give. So I'm so happy that he's made this decision. He's, been, he's able to go out as a winner. And, uh, you know, don't we all wish to be able to leave what we do, uh, like the way Landon left today as, as a winner. So he, he, he ends his career as uh, whatever you want with U.S. soccer, you know, arguably uh, the greatest player in the history of, of, of U.S. soccer, uh, the national team program. In the league, the all-time leading goal scorer, assists, championships, you know, what more more can you say? Can you can you write that any better that script? So I'm happy for him. He's he's spent. He's done. And uh, my hat is off to him. Uh, been remarkable. His versatility. You know, today we shifted him around a little bit. Uh, started him in the second half as a forward. I thought Giassi did a great job with left midfield. Uh, shifting with Landon. Then he ended the game. Uh, helped holding it down. Uh, uh, playing on the right side of midfield. We didn't we didn't play our best today. For whatever reason, you know, I think uh, to concede that goal kind of at the end of the game was disappointing. So, but at the same time, we we weren't that good on the day, you know. And uh, to push us into overtime and make us have to suffer a little bit more is, is probably appropriate. Uh, of course, we weren't as good as we needed to be today. Uh, I give New England a lot of credit. They battled. They were uh, very disciplined. They, they knew what they had to do. They, uh, you know... Uh, they, they battled. Give, give them a lot of credit. Uh, Jermaine Jones is a warrior. Uh, yeah, they did a good job. They, sh they, they pushed us as hard as we could be pushed. And uh, and, and the reason maybe uh, we weren't at our best today is probably because of New England. Give them credit. But at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're holding that trophy up. And uh, that's what we're about. Uh, I've had uh, a lot of opportunities in my career in a lot of organizations. Uh, this is the best place I've ever been in my life. Uh, fabulous owner, great management, uh, and this this year for me personally has been one of my most rewarding. They're just a great group of guys. It, 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 so I'm so happy for them. It's, it's been great. Talk about Landon finishing on a high. When you look at Robbie Keane, he's with, uh, you know has the 21 goals in the playoffs, <laughs> playoffs included. MVP, MVP of this game. Scores the winning goal in dramatic fashion. Is, is, does that sort of complete the pattern of the baton? This is now Robbie's team. Well, I don't know whose team it is, but it's uh, it's nice to have this team. Right. You know, Robbie's Robbie's been unbelievable since he's, he he uh, stepped foot in MLS. Um, yeah, you know, I've 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 been on record. I've said this that uh, it's very rare that a uh, international player can can step into this league be adjusted instantly and not explain to us how you're supposed to do things and how it's done elsewhere. So we, we've never heard one comment on this is how they do it at Liverpool or Tottenham. Or, I mean, he, he's bought into Major League Soccer from the start, and he's, a, you know, he's our, our greatest advocate. And it's been fabulous. So look at what we've done since uh, we acquired Robbie. So uh, is it his team? No, it's Mr. Andrews' team, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, he's a pretty big piece, for sure. Uh, Bruce, uh, over here. I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit more about why you made the shift at halftime to, to move Jassy out wide and put Landon in the middle. Well, I, I, I thought, first of all, uh, Robbie Keane suggested it at halftime. So, you know, in, in all honesty, he should probably be player manager of this team. Uh, and we, had a, we had a lot of the ball. And uh, probably we needed to be a little bit cleaner in the final third with our passing, our runs, and 
moving land in there uh, uh, would, would suggest that maybe we could be a little bit better there. And then having said that, I thought Giassi was, uh, was very good playing in the midfield and, uh, and, and really exploited them down that side of the field. So the, uh, the change, I think, helped us, uh, yet we, we were just missing it a little bit today. And one would think that it ends 1-0, and you say, eh, you know, the game was nothing great. So for us to get pushed like that is only right. And to see that we had the determination to, 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 to win it out and was, uh, was tremendous. And, and, and again, I, I'd say that uh, you've got, got to give New England a lot of credit. They, they came in here with a plan. They, they too, were determined, a, a competitive group. Uh, this Jermaine Jones is a, is a real leader. And it was a good battle. Maybe not the greatest game, but uh, uh, there was some drama involved. So maybe that's good as well. Sarvis's performance today, both defensively on, on the win and uh, the pass on the game winning goal, please. He's a, he's a warrior. He, he's like, uh, he, he's our Jermaine Jones. Uh, he's a battler. Uh, uh, he, he plays through good plays and bad plays. And, uh, you know, the ball to Robbie was was a great ball, and Robbie, a, a, a great finish. I'm not surprised at the finish as much as I was the pass, but uh, uh, Robbie, maybe he would say, maybe not at times his best day, but again, the greatness of Robbie Keane is uh, he scores the goal that, that, that uh, makes a difference in the match, and uh, I can't say enough about Robbie. He's, he's been... Uh, a special leader, a great player, and uh, a, a great friend and teammate. So I'm real happy for Robbie. Bob, do you have any comment on that, Pat? On the game on the floor? <clears throat> Obviously, clear to see that it was a you know fantastic pass. I mean, it was a it wasn't the greatest game to be honest with you. It was it was tough. Um, New England played very well. We had to give them a lot of credit the way he came and the way he set the, the game plan, but. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it goes after 90 minutes. It's it's 120 minutes. So that's that's what really matters then in the end. And which team comes out uh, stronger? And I think we certainly came out stronger in, in extra time. And, and thankfully, we got the we got the goal. But it was a great pass from from Marcelo. And, you know, thankfully for me, I put it in the back of there. Congratulations, Robbie. Thank you. Um, you've been a you played for a lot of clubs in your career, and on a relative scale, obviously. What what makes the Galaxy the best club in MLS? Well, the reason why they're the best, they're the best team is uh, because they're winning trophies. Why? <laughs> it's very simple. They're winning trophies. Man United are the best team over the years because they won trophies. If they didn't win trophies, they wouldn't be the best team. So for us, it's it's consistently. Uh, Getting trophies and, and, and that's why we're the biggest team. And you know we we were put on the at the very very start from from David Beckham. He he made this team. I think anyway, you know, a huge huge name and uh, around globally around the world. And, and by doing that, uh, you have to live up to your expectations. And people like Landon and, and myself, this is was a help to that. And, and Bruce and Bruce, the players that Bruce brought in, the organisation brought in. So, well, it's about winning and it's about getting trophies. Uh, if you're not winning, you know people people forget about you fairly quickly. Uh, okay, this question is for, for Bruce. Uh, Jesse had, had a really good regular season. Obviously, but when he gets into a final, you never quite know how a young player is going to react. He obviously reacted really well. Could you see him coming into this game? having this kind of performance and then what you think overall of how he stepped up? Well, I think he played better in the midfield. Obviously, you see today it's very rare that you can uh, shift the striker to midfield and, and, and went into the midfield. Uh, he, he played better. So he's, uh, he, he's a young man and has, a, I think, a great future. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're real proud of him. If you see the difference... Uh, <laughs> In 2014, compared to 2013, he's much improved, and um, he still has a, a higher ceiling. So we're real pleased to have him. Here. 
Robbie, obviously one of the storylines in this game <clears throat> was Landon's final game. I j just wondering your thoughts. You know you want to win the game, know the team wants to win the game, but the thoughts of being able to give Landon a victory of MLS Cup in his final game, and what is his legacy, you feel? Well, we wouldn't. We wouldn't go into the game certainly thinking about that. That was his, his last game, and he wasn't, you know, he wasn't going around the dressing room telling <laughs> everybody that, so we're actually aware of it. And we've been known for the last year or so. For us, just about the team and concentrating on, on, on winning the game. And if we won a championship for him, you know, no one deserves, as I mentioned, I think two days ago, no one deserves to go out on a high as much as he does. With what he's done for for MLS, uh, the U.S. national team, you know, it's been a great credit uh, for both, uh, for the team, for his teammates. Uh, it was just a great honour to, to play in these to play these four years with him. Just a lot for him. You know, more than anybody to uh, to go out on a on a high because he deserves it. We really and as a group, you know, we we really uh, want to win this for our team and our organization. And uh, Landon uh, was a byproduct of all that, and, and we love Landon and we're so happy for him. But uh, you know, we, we were real determined to win this for our club. Yeah, Robbie, congratulations. Uh, you were quite animated and emotional on some near misses, uh, offside calls. How do you get that out of your system to get focused back on the task at hand? Because we've played for 15, 15 years, and you miss chances, you score chances. Only miss one chance, so it's not bad. <laughs> uh, kill me, yeah? We just won the championship, we just got to win the goal. Uh, we miss a man. Uh, Listen, I don't worry about missing chances because for me, I always tell strikers, young strikers, that as long as you're getting into the, the right areas and you keep getting in there and determined to get to, to keep getting in there, you will score goals because that, that's naturally that's what you're good at. So for me, I knew if I get another chance, I said uh, the second period of extra time, all my came up to me. And he said to me there, the score is out. I said something, I said, don't worry, I'll score. It wasn't me being big headed, that was just me being knew that I'd get one chance. I knew I'd get a chance. That would I would I would put it away. Thankfully for me, you know, I went in the back of that and you know we won the championship. I'm gonna take two more questions and then we'll let you Hi Bruce. Is this LA team, LA Galaxy team better than the two thousand and twelve LA Galaxy team who also won the championship? Thank you. Uh yeah, a different team. Maybe we're more aesthetically pleasing this year, but uh, uh, the 2012 team was a real good team. I, you know, I, I've been fortunate to be part of a lot of teams that have won trophies, and uh, I wouldn't uh, disrespect one from the other. I think they, in my eyes, the 2012 team was a great team. 2011 was a great team. This is a great team. Uh, DC United in 96 and 97 was a great team, and actually 98 was even better, but we, we didn't win that year, lost in the finals. So uh, I'm, I'm real proud to be associated with these teams, and I don't want to compare one to the other. Uh, you know, been honored to be uh, with a great group of players. And uh, this year w was one of the uh, most rewarding uh, years of my career, just such a great group of people. And we went through incredible highs and lows on and off the field. And uh, they were such a, uh, a great group to work with and a determined group. And I'm pleased at the end they get the, get the hold of the trophy. And it's great. Robbie, it looks like we're seeing the best of you in your entire career. And I'm just wondering what, what's happening here in LA that's allowing you to perform at such a this high a level, and arguably the best in your career. I don't know if you would agree with that. Well, the last two years, it's been sort of the same thing. Um, probably scored more goals than did last year, but played less games last year. So I think since I've been here, I've always said it, that the most important thing is to be consistent every year. Since I've come here, I've been, been consistent. Um, you know, I've managed to play more games than I did last year, and every year I set myself a goal, as I keep saying, that I have to try and score more goals than I did the previous year and more assists and I've managed to do that uh, every year. 
so I'll keep striving every year to keep to keep doing that. Uh, I've had some fantastic uh, years well, since I've been playing. You know, a lot of Tottenham. Been four, I think, four times player of the year when I was with them. So I've had some great, great years and with the national team as well, the Irish national team. So it's very hard to, you know, to to say which is better than, than, than the other. But for me, it doesn't really matter about what I do. It's about what the team do. I know if I play well and score goals and, and if the team is playing well, I think we've got a good chance of winning uh, winning the championship. And that's been the case this year. Robbie's going to outlive me in this game. He's going to play a lot longer than I'm coaching. I can tell you that. How much longer is that? Uh, <laughs> it, it, not as long as he's going to keep playing. <laughs> I think that's the answer to that question. Very good. Thank he you very much. He loves to play. I had to try. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Congratulations.